Welcome to Eagle Island, everyone! This game is brought to you by America! <laughs> oh, oh, because it's Eagles. Gotcha. I'm on, I'm on board now. I'm on the same page. I got you. <laughs> America! It took you a second to get on the page. It takes me a second because I'm an American. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel I've played this game quite a bit, and I actually haven't seen any Eagles yet. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing something. Oh, there's. Oh, I guess that is an eagle. He just stole my owl. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh! No! No! Come back! <gasps> <laughs> you absolute asshat! I'm not sad anymore. <laughs> I've been taking coping classes, so I'm really good at coping now. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Same, honestly. I, I go through a really quick grieving process. I cry for 2.7 seconds, and then I'm over it. <laughs> I haven't. Uh... Just so, so if it makes you feel better, if you die, Josh, I would only grieve for 2.7 seconds. That's, that's <laughs> that, that makes me feel better, yes. That makes me feel yes. better. Thank you. Let me go ahead and give a brief description of what we're doing for this versus. Yeah, go for it. So, the way this versus works is we're actually only racing to get to the end of level 3. Because this game is actually really, really hard. It's, it's above our pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> that is an understatement. It's... <sighs> like, I remember whenever we were, like, testing this game out... I remember just texting you and being like, <laughs> I think I just like put a crying emoji or something. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, that, that really says a lot to the, the game's developer for, you know, making this like actually fun, but very difficult game. <laughs> yeah, I actually love the difficulty of it, but it just doesn't, it, it was too much for a race. Yeah, I, yeah. The like, the base of this game is a little bit too difficult for a race, which is why we limited it to the first three levels. Because this game is really fun, and we're just mostly doing a race to showcase how how neat of a game it is. This awesome game. And plus, also, I, I kind of want you guys to, by the end of this, to want to go and play more of it. Like, that's kind of our goal, I think, with this. Yeah. It's so like, you guys, like, you know, like, get a taste of it, get our perspective on it, and then pick up from there. I think that'd be awesome. Although I think we're going to do a little bit better during this versus than we did in our regular playthroughs. Because in our regular playthroughs, we were playing in normal mode. And we're playing on casual mode for the race, so it's... Filthy casual mode. Dude, sometimes you just gotta... You just gotta admit that you suck. Honestly, it's true. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you just have to... You just have to submit to it. My name is Tyler Cedarwall, and I suck! <gasps> what? This is news to me. <laughs> <laughs> but not as much as Josh does. It's true. It's true. It's unfortunate. It's uh, it's baked into my DNA. <laughs> Being bad at video games was I, I was bad at video games at birth, which oh, I mean, <laughs> I just got some are. coupons, Josh. I got some free chess coupons. Oh damn, girl! I actually got. I've been getting some pretty decent items actually. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wait, my favorite thing about this Start game this. is about to come on screen. Check this out, guys. Check it out. Look, it's a toucan! No way! I like what? never see my kind in these games. Or do I have eight? I have. Oh, it is a toucan. Hearts. Toucan trading. Uh, dun, Playing this dun, game dun, in casual dun. mode, like I said, is a lot easier because we have a lot more hearts. In the normal mode, you normally nice. only have the top heart. You normally have three hit points. Yeah. In casual mode, you get six hit points. That's the biggest difference. And 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 you guys have watched this long enough. Some of you have watched this long enough to know that we are truly the the casualist of of racers. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> We are actually filthy casuals. Well, so the way this game works is it's a roguelike game. So every time you die, you have to yeah. restart the level you're on. And yeah. it will randomly generate it into like a completely new level. Yeah, so that's why there's no that's why there's no checkpoints or or what have you. Yeah, if you die, that's what that's the main reason is in the normal game you're actually supposed to die a lot. You're supposed to die like yeah. ten times per level. But for a race, that's not the ideal situation. No. So we wanted to kind of adapt our experience to make it it's better. Oh my god, Pumba! And honestly, what's really awesome about this game actually is the level of customization you have with the difficulty. Like, they do have this casual mode, which gives you more hit points and makes things easier and gives you more, yeah. you know, like, heart refills and stuff like that. But there's also, like, other, like, accessibility, like, settings that make it so you, you can have things like an outline around your characters so mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier to see. And you can dim the background if you if you think, like, things are hard to, you know, to, 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 to see. Yeah, one of the biggest changes, which we only just figured this out right before recording, is that dotted line that like is up oh my in god, front you of got us. the aiming. Whenever we hold our owl out in front of us, that's not normally there, but it actually helps a lot because sometimes it's hard to tell if you're throwing at an angle without it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I think I'm actually okay with all of that for now. 
I'm okay with my my crap, my car. It's really cool how like it's two different like playing this in casual mode is actually like, a completely different experience almost. It is. Yeah. It kind of just helps you enjoy the environment and get used to the controls. And the music too. This game has such beautiful soundtrack. It puts me in just such an uplifting spirit. I know, right? I love it. I have to kill all these enemies. There's so many birds. These birds are just. I'll, I'll be honest. It took me a little bit to get used to the aiming and the the control scheme of like attacking. Um, but once I got used to it, I, I kind of feel like it, it works. Um, oh my god! Oh my god! No, boom! One what of the things I do like about it is it does reward you for getting combos, which is really cool. Yeah, and actually, that's the only way to get hearts in normal mode is by getting four enemies in a combo. You get a heart. I, I never even figured that out. I was never able to do that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, that's how you get. And in casual mode, the, the blue chests just give you hearts, like free heart refills. So it makes it a little bit more easier for us to just like have a, a casual romp through this world and, and enjoy. Oh, God. I mean, we still suck. Let's be let's be fair. Like, we're still yeah, good. I have invincibility right now. This is actually coming in super clutch. I'm just like running through everything. Oh, I should have replaced the, the other one. Because some of your equipment actually uh, degrades over time and breaks. Yeah. I got a wall jump badge as well. And it kind of. I'm sad that you don't. Like, you also don't get to keep the badges. The badges only stay with you for the level, or if you get a game over, you also lose them. It's, it's, it's an interesting game. I really like it, though. Like, playing the normal mode where it is really difficult is actually really fun and rewarding, in my opinion. Because. Every time I died, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to do better this time. And you also, there's a bit of, like, luck thrown in there as well, because you need to find right, good yeah, badges. Right, yeah, get different items. Yep. So it's a really fun experience. It kind of reminds me of, like, a 2D side-scrolling version of Binding Isaac in a way. Yeah, well, yeah, because that's also a roguelike, right? So, yeah, I guess I haven't played a whole lot of roguelikes, so I kind of, like, Binding of Isaac's, like, the main roguelike I've played. Well, so. Binding of Isaac, uh, there's Enter the Gungeon, which I really like. Um... Crypt of the Narco Dancer has roguelike stuff to it. I forgot about Enter the Gungeon. Did you know that game has co-op mode now? I did know that that had co-op mode, yeah. And it's really good. It's actually more fun in co-op, I think. Same with Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That game is really fun in co-op. Woo! Am I also the first boss? I don't remember the first level being this long. Have you gotten to the first boss yet? No, have you? Yeah, I'm on it right now. Oh, crap. Okay, you're a little bit ahead of me. I need to be playing a little bit faster, I guess. Play faster, you son of a gun. I, sometimes I forget the urgency of these races. I think you got really into the fact that it was like casual mode, and you were just like, I'm going. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm just casual. I'm just chilling on Eagle Island, man. Except that you're not, because your friend got captured by a fucking eagle. Are we fighting the... Is this first boss, like, a long neck? Dinosaur, but with the flower as a head instead. It reminds me of the Demogorgon from. It does. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's exactly what it reminds me of. What a great it. comparison. It but like a more delicate. It smells better. It smells better. Yeah, I can only imagine that the Demogorgon smells terrible. Like all the like the slime coming off of it probably smells like ass. I wonder what the if if his if the slime on him smells if like ass. Honest. What does his ass smell like? Oh, oh, you don't want to. It, it smells like slime. <laughs> <laughs> so the slime smells like ass and the ass smells like slime? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm, I would. Huh? I would have uh, it my way. Huh? Sorry, the boss is almost dead. He's so red. But yeah, you should go to Burger King. Burger King. That is their slogan, right? Have it your way? Mm-hmm, yeah, Burger King, yep. That kind of sounds a bit, like, inviting. Have it your way. No, I mm. Wait, mm. what the fuck? How did I get a Burger King there? and have it my way? Hello? Ooh, this oh, this looks so pretty. They give you an extra one. What? Heaven. This eagle is out here literally stealing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this eagle out here stealing everybody. Oh, shit, hello? Why is, it, why is it named after the most treacherous bird of the land? How come it's not named after, like, the cute little owls and shit? Because he's he's big and evil. Evil? He's evil. Evil. evil dude. <laughs> he wants one billion dollars. I'm gonna give you a more loving laugh. Mwah. Mwah. That sounds like Bayonetta. That's just Bayonetta right there. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what I was doing. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> Darling. Mwah. 
<laughs> Instead of a. Uh, I love Bayonetta. That game's dope. I love her butt. Honestly, honestly, same. Oh yeah. I don't. I just don't. I think I just accidentally ho yad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for everyone listening. That's too, that's so 2017, Josh. It's so 2017. Such a 2017 meme. You know, I was thinking today. I was like wondering, like, how are the kids today get to learn about the memes? from the internet that we had whenever the internet kind of first they started coming They'll out. They'll have their own memes. No, I just realized the best way to get yourself informed on the memes of our generation is watch all the episodes of Ray William Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's like the best way to have a crash course of our generation. And you, you know memes. what? You can watch it with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I can't wait to have a kid and watch Ray William Johnson with him. <laughs> I'm fucking Ray William fucking Johnson. God damn it. He's now the best Facebook content creator ever. Oh my god, great. Yeah, that's what we all needed. I still. I. I he's like the only Facebook content creator I know of. But is there like is that a regular thing? It I has to be right. Make content on Facebook regularly. They also do other things, but not exclusively Facebook. I don't know anybody that does exclusively Facebook like he does. I know for a while, Gerard with Beard Bros, they only streamed live stream to Facebook because they were like paying them. To oh right, like on Facebook. And I don't think it worked out that well for them. Like they got, they definitely got financially rewarded for it because like. Well, yeah. I mean, Facebook is is. is Obviously, Facebook is going around paying content creators to come to their website and do like the the Facebook gaming thing because they want to make it a thing. Yeah, I just don't see Facebook gaming ever like becoming a thing. You don't think so? It's weird how they're trying. But the thing is, they have the money to try to throw it at it and make it a thing. So why not? Ripperoni. I would. Are we eventually this. gonna move versus to Mixer? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, I don't know what the future holds. You know, maybe in a year, Mixer is the best thing that everybody is on. You know, when I want to make fun of it and then, like, be f framed as a, you know, a fucking asshole later. And <laughs> <laughs> right? I didn't say you had to make fun of it. Well, no, I mean, this is what you're doing, though. You're bringing it up as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I can't. So think about it, like... Overall, I am really excited, though, to see what happens with Mixer. Like, it does have potential because it is being talked about a lot, so you never know. Okay, so this minecart part I'm on, this is actually, in my opinion, like one of the hardest things ever of at least this level. The minecart segments? Yeah. Yeah, they're not they're not easy. It's hard for me to not take a hit because like the enemies come up so fast and if you miss, like you're you're gonna get hit. Also, I just made the realization, I guess they couldn't name this after the owls because there's already a game named Owl Boy, isn't there? <gasps> <gasps> I'm actually also on the, the minecart segment, so I was like freaking out. <laughs> I was looking into them, and apparently, so this game was originally funded by Kickstarter. Yeah. And one of the stretch goals, that actually the last stretch goal they hit was to add the minecart segments. That wasn't even originally intended to be in the game, but they ended up yeah, adding them. Yeah, minecart segments have become like a legendary thing in gaming because of Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Dude, I was just playing that game yesterday. <laughs> I was just because I, I just got an SNES Classic, and that's oh nice. It's so worth it. Yeah, I have one of those. I'm really upset that they only have Donkey Kong Country though, because I've played I've beaten Donkey Kong Country a million times, but I've never really played Donkey Kong Country two or three. So I was really hoping it oh, would be no, on there, that. but it wasn't. I want this. But they added Star Fox two, which didn't even exist originally. So right? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. So it's the only way to get Star Fox two, which is how they got all the people who were like, "Yeah, but I can get all these games elsewhere." Nope, can't anymore, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually that was actually some big ball Brilliant. moves from Nintendo. All right, that's a big that's a big brain move, is what it is. Yeah, Nintendo made one good it's decision. A, it was a max IQ. Boink. Can you die in a peaceful death? Please. That's all I'm wishing for all of the enemies in this game is to die a peaceful death. I want the enemies on my screen to die a slow and painful death. How do you want to die, Josh? Peacefully in my sleep. What's the what's the worst way to die in your opinion? Uh, being stretched between two vehicles moving away from each other. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually probably be the. It depends how fast they're moving. If they just like drive away really fast and just rip you in half really quick. No, and that's probably not slow. as bad. Yeah, slow, <laughs> where you like feel the stretching. Be slow and methodical. At least you'd be a little bit taller for a moment, though. <laughs> sure, yeah. 
Because that's what I want to be, a little bit taller. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, crap. Didn't um, see it there. Oh, I do want that. I do want that. I do, I do. I Whoa, do. jackpot. I do. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Like, I have so much money right now. Holy crap. Right? I know. Casual mode is a totally different experience. Yeah. Casual mode, like I said, it's, it's actually way better for a race right now, now that I think about it. It really is. It's way better for a race because it's just pure action is what it is. The normal mode doesn't work for races because you literally get like 10 game overs per level because this yeah. game is like legitimately... It's fun. It's, it's definitely really fun. fun. I li like I said, I like the difficulty of it. For a race, not so much, but for like just regular because you actually feel oh, so accomplished every time you beat a level. Birch. Birch. Yes. Feel so good about yourself. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that was great. I just wombo comboed everybody and their mom. Whoa, who amazing. are these guys? What the heck? These like little moles jumping out of the ground? Yikes. Oh shoot, you didn't see those guys? I saw those guys earlier when I was playing. <laughs> I think I might have seen them, I but I was like when I just when now. I was beating this level on my own, I was like it was like really late at night and I was really tired and I was oh, just yeah. like I gotta stay awake until I beat it. So by this point, I was probably like dead. <laughs> yeah, this is that kind of game. I like that kind of game though, because Binding of Isaac is just like the same thing. Honestly, yeah, Binding of Isaac is one of those games. Is like you, you sort of like trudge through the hard shit, and it ends up being super worth it. The game rewards you for going through the hard stuff. Make it feels good. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Please help. Please help us. I am literally in the heck right now. It's like the scariest place to be. It, what is heck just like? Yes. A cold version of hell. <laughs> there's hell, and then there's <laughs> and then there's heck. Yeah, that's like Antarctica. Oh my god, I'm gonna beat this boss. Which, I, which I realistically is just as bad. Like being in a place where you're like burning to death is just as bad as like a place where you're freezing to death. Yeah. No. No. Exactly. Both sides of the spectrum are pretty crappy. <laughs> Yeah, we live in a very specific zone, a Goldilocks zone. Oh my gosh, these birds like to evade. Just love to troll. So, so of the um, the enemies that you fought so far, which ones are the ones you like the least? Um, out of like what I've played today. Probably these little birds, because they're actually making it hard for me to go fast. But I would say my first playthrough, the armadillos, because I took a oh, lot, way yeah. too many hits from those guys, since they take two hits to kill. Screw that noise, honestly. Screw it. Just F that noise, dude. F it. I can't actually do anything with the sound. It's not tangible. <laughs> sorry, am I, am I supposed to... Is that how yes and works? <laughs> um, sorry, that's not, that's not scientifically viable. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. That's my favorite kind of improv comedy, the ones where you just back up all the yes and with pure facts. Uh, which is fine, you know, hey, do you do you boot? Wait, I need to go the other this way. This boss is so I'm, badass. I'm, I'm, I'm wasting lots of time because I went the wrong way. I'm just, I'm just sniffing my own demise right now. Just <laughs> You're smell. sniffing your eyes? I'm just, no, I said demise. <laughs> Demise, like yes, yeah. referring to demise, right? Not dem. Oh my god, I can't. It's Im it's I it's I can't know you. <laughs> <laughs> I only do this when we're recording with each other. I know. People wonder <laughs> why, like, we don't hate each other. It's because we don't do this shit it's to each other. It's because Tyler's in not fucking crazy off camera. It's only <laughs> on camera that he's insane. My roommate, fearsome fire. I told you about this, but like, yesterday he told me he was like, you know what, Tyler. <laughs> Like, living with you, I'm actually really surprised because, like, before I lived with you, I just expected, like, us to be in the living room and you just to be like, pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, you've only watched, like, a funny moments compilation of me then. <laughs> pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> you, yeah, you've only watched Josh Jepsen is Squidward Tentacles. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's the only thing that you've watched of our. our there's, a, there's a lot of people who probably just watched that though. Honestly, yeah. Okay, there's probably, the, there's how, probably many, many people who have seen that video, who don't even know who we are, and they just like SpongeBob, and they saw that, and it was funny because it was just us cussing too. SpongeBob true. clips, pretty much. No, I can't go back here. <laughs> Dang it! It's not the right way. 
No! Are you in level you three yet? Me. I am on level three. Are you actually ahead of me? What? I don't know. Am I? Are you on level three? I'm walking there right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm not on level three. <laughs> Shit, I'm still fighting the level one boss. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Demogorgon. I could see how you would get stuck on that. The Demogorg. The Demogorg. Have you seen Stranger Things 3? I love it, dude. I know. Right. The reason I like, love Stranger Things so is I feel good. like... I'm not going to say any spoilers, but I like how it's... Structured? Kind of. The structure is great, but I love how it's the first, like, horror movie where they're putting kids through things that they only put adults through in previous horror movies. Yeah, right? And also, like, my, my favorite thing about the show is the thing that they do where they have all the characters doing their own separate things throughout the whole season, and then they all come together at the end in different ways, and they all help the final, like, thing together in a way. I yeah. guess that's kind of a spoiler, but whatever. It's, it's the same structure as the other two seasons, really, like, story-wise. Um... Yeah, I think that's really but, I think that's a really good storytelling tactic is to have a is. bunch of like side stories and then like make it feel like all the characters are kind of alone, but they haven't come together for an epic conclusion. An epic conclusion, yeah. I love it. I love it, shit. it reminds it me of indie. Avatar, the Battle of the Black Sun, where they just have like all the characters come together to attack the Fire Nation at once. Yeah. It's just always so satisfying. It's so satisfying seeing all these characters come to like all the characters that you've like come to like grow and love over the season come together to help a you know, a, a main cause. Yeah. Have In you own ways. have you played the game Dead by Daylight? Dead by Daylight. No, I don't think so. So I've never played it myself, but I think I'm finally going to because they just announced that they're adding Stranger Things characters to the game. Oh shit, really? And it kind of opened up my eyes to what the game is. The Dead by Daylight is like a horror game compilation. It's kind of like the Smash Bros of horror games, if that makes sense. So it like combines. Oh shit, really? Oh wait, Dead by Daylight. That's the um. Yeah, okay. No, I've played Dead by Daylight. Yeah. No, I, I was thinking of um of a different game that has the word dead and daylight in the I, I think there is another game named Dead by Daylight. <laughs> yeah, not not no, named it, Dead by Daylight, but it has the names. No, it's Dying Light. It's Dying Light is the one I was thinking of. No, I've played Dead by Daylight. That's the multiplayer one. That's what I meant of, to uh, say. Horror characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. No, you're right. You were right. You had it right. I had it wrong. For once. For once. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Can I get this underwater chest? I no. don't know if I can. Some of the chests underwater, like, are really hard to get or impossible. I, I think there might be an upgrade later that we have not, like, discovered. Because we have not finished the game. I think there is one that allows you to swim underwater. I, I believe think. there is, yeah. The game just came out, like, not that long ago, so. Like a week ago, I think? Yeah. What do I got in here? Oh, for the love Ooh. of all that is good and holy in this world! I love these roguelike type games. I do, too. I think it's becoming my favorite genre. The other roguelike game that I was really enjoying was... Oh crap, now I can't remember the name. I literally just had it in my head. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> oh, wait. Man. Dead Cells, right? Dead Cells, yeah. Dead Cells is a roguelike, I believe. I yeah. haven't played it. And people have akin, uh, likened it to, like, the Dark Souls of Roblox. <laughs> but then that's also a thing that people say a lot of games. <laughs> the Dark Souls of this game. The Dark Souls of that game. I'm the Dark Souls of humans. Oh my god, I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Okay, I screwed this up. I'm not going to even go for this chest. I don't need it. I don't know oh, I know! I know exactly crap. what you're talking about—the big blue chests. Yeah. Yeah. They have the the these like extra coins in them that you give to somebody in the overworld, I believe. Or you get—it's like a collectible in the the item. But then I I haven't met the oh. character that you use those on, so I don't know. Boink. Do the big turtles that like shoot the like circles, the ice beams at you, or whatever? Do they remind you of Blastoise at all? No. Oh. Okay. Is that how you s yes and Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. obviously not, Tyler. <laughs> you don't have to always yes, Sammy. That wasn't an improv situation. That was just it's an all improv, Tyler. This is what we do. My life is improv. I mean, if you think about it, everyone's life is improv. Does anybody have a scripted life? Oh my god, it's true. <laughs> uh, I guess if you have like an arranged marriage, that's like kind of not improv-y. 
Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing. Do you imagine having an arranged marriage? No, fuck that. <laughs> I one. still can't believe that's a thing that humans have done in the past. Well, I mean, humans also invented marriage. It's like... Eh. There's just some things about society that I still can't believe have been, like, the norms. That we just, like, break free. Because I watched... I think I told you about this, but I watched uh, Django Unchained. Oh, that's one of my favorite films. It's amazing. I love that movie. And while watching it, like, my one of my biggest takes away is I couldn't believe just how, like, natural everybody in the film just acted towards slavery. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it was just the norm. Like, people didn't think... Like, obviously, people didn't like it, but, like, a lot of the characters, like, that was just the norm to them. They didn't know another life or They didn't world. know another way. They didn't know another way. They didn't hear another thing. Yeah, to them, because they were born in the world where black people were just slaves. And, like, they eventually fought for their liberties and stuff, but, like, it's just weird to think about what is it that we think about now that people are going to be looking back on and be like, damn, how do they even think that way? <laughs> ah! Oh, my fucking God! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, um... Jesus Christ, I didn't realize they were gonna get rid of the fucking platforms. Sorry. I didn't mean to like scream over your topic. <laughs> <laughs> who needs a platform and a platform? In <laughs> yeah, who needs platforms and a platformer? Oh, there they are. Get I know you're on the I know you're on the boss th though, and I'm really scared actually. You should be. I don't know how I played so well. <laughs> okay, I'm on Ooh. the boss too. Gotta, um, hit his, gotta hit his belief. Oh, no, why the fuck am I? Oh, I'm so bad at this, dude. Oh, no. And I don't think you played amazing. I just, for some reason, I just don't think I was playing it with quite the right mindset. Like, I was still probably killing too many things because you don't need to kill a lot of the enemies. Yeah, you don't need to kill as much because you don't need as much. Oh, uh, pain. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm already down to three hits. I don't like Shark Island. <laughs> this is the Sharknado 4. The only thing is. Tara Reed is known oh, for. Oh shit, me sideways! <laughs> She's known for a lot of good things, I think. Probably not, actually. I'm just saying things. Tyler, that's fake news. Everything's fake news today. <laughs> Nothing is real anymore, Josh. If you think Nothing it's real, real, then you're probably wrong. If you think it's real, then the you're only thing probably... that's real today is Jake Paul's and Tana Mongo's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is fake news. God damn it. No, you. Oh, no. Oh, no, he <gasps> ate my owl. Oh, no. What? Oh, it's over. Did you die? Oh, it's over. Yeah, I died. Oh, that hurts. I could that possibly die in the so, boss. I, you could possibly die in the boss, but that just, that's like a, that's a blow. I don't think I want to, though. Oh, no, he died. Damn it. No, I had it, dude. I was on it, and then I, I couldn't do the boss. I couldn't hit his belly. I sucked, man. I was doing so good, and then I sucked. Yeah, I got. I kind of got a really quick comeback at the end. Tyler, I'm kind of happy Tyler. you were beating me, and that I won though. It makes it more exciting. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I think it makes. It's it really only excited exciting. when I'm winning. <laughs> I'm sorry you see it that way. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. I'm just being the. You know. You're your being facetious. 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 Yeah, I'm being facetious. Facetious. Yep, I can't say that word. I'm not sure why I chose that word, but that's what no. you're being. I am being I'm not even sure what it means. I just wanted to say that's what you are. It's like, uh, you know, you're just, uh, you're being like, uh, like, floozy. Not floozy. Like, like, uh, <laughs> you're a floozy is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I prefer anyway, the term congratulations. Flapper, I would give bird. you, um, I would give you a, uh, you know, like a, like a, like a victory handshake or something. I don't know. I want a plaque. <sighs> well, then just don't brush your teeth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Just like fast forward to like 10 years in the future where I literally have no teeth left. <laughs> Welcome back to Versa, everybody. <laughs> Why is that you too, okay? <laughs> I'm glad I won. That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. If you guys want to get this game, we'll put it a link down in the description to where you can buy it on Steam. It's dope. It's honestly dope. You should you should consider buying it. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to pick that like button. Yeah!
smack that like button. And right in the pecker. Peck it right back. Oh, no. And we oh, will see no. you guys oh. in the oh. next video. Oh.